Hello and welcome to a brand new video of Global Techniques of Architecture. Into today's video, as discussed earlier, we are going to talk about sliding windows. So, even if I talk about sliding windows to many of the industry veterans, many of them just compile it and say there are only three components. Many of they say, many of them say only four components or say only six components. So when I put it onto a notepad and start writing down the components that go into a sliding window, they come out to be more than 15 in numbers. Of course, there are some of them which are if required. So if at all your windows are into a pattern of uh, more than 1.5 meters of vertical height and when you go, when you intend to use system windows, only then these components play a vital role and you must be uh, thinking about these while installing, while designing and uh, understanding wind sliding windows in more depth. So we start the entire discussion about this sliding windows as number one material which is glass. So depending upon the budget, depending upon the intent, depending upon the actual requirement of the project, the glass is being selected. It can be single, it can be double, it can be laminated, it can be triple, it can be a DGU insulated glass unit with a lamination. So depending upon all these parameters, the glass selection happens. So the number first, first uh, material that you know for sliding window is, but of course is glass. Second and the most important uh, uh, material that goes for a sliding window is the system. Here we are not biased about any system, any material as such. We are talking of in general whether it be aluminium, whether it be uh, UPVC, whether it be wood. So depending upon all these three, suppose if we consider aluminium, if at all we consider aluminium, we need to consider the extrusion material, material property or say material number one material plus its wastage then comes the powder coating the finish that we require and last but not the least whether it be aluminium whether it be wood whether it be ms whether it be upvc all of these would be having certain amount of wastage so wastage also needs to be taken into account very authentically while understanding the entire system for a sliding window then comes the sealant now this sealant is again divided into three components number one the sealant that holds the glass and aluminium together structural sealant number two the sealant that goes throughout the periphery of the sliding window which has to be non-staining weather sealant and then there is a normal sealant in order to fix the sealant you require a a backing towards it we call it a baker rod so that's again another material baker rod we require then to hold the difference uh, hold the distance between the glass and the system whether it be aluminum wood or any other we don't allow metal to glass contact so we require separators these separators are gaskets these gaskets can be silicon based can be rubber based Ideally, it has to be EPDM or silicon gaskets. These gaskets have to be microwave cured so that they don't react. They don't react with the weathering cycle and shrink. Then, if at all we require inserts for strengthening the system. So, those are called uh, MS inserts. Those, those can be in two parts, they can be brackets, they can be actual inserts like in UPVC profiles, 99% of the time, if at all it crosses 2 meters vertical height, we have to go for reinforcement of GI. Then comes the fasteners that we use. Now these fasteners are used for the entire framing part. So this framing part, we also sometimes use roll plugs to fix in this entire frame. Then we use SS screws. So why SS screws? So that they don't corrode. 
with time with weather if at all it is not a humid atmosphere then to assess corrodes because of sulfur because of air pollution that's why ss grade 316 screws so these screws are used to fix the shutter profile are used to fix the gutter profile then comes anti capillarity anti capillary arrangement then we require a wool pile so that when you slide a sliding window it doesn't create a noise there are two types of wool pile one is which creates a noise called and other one is silent wool pile it it doesn't affect in the last video when when we were discussing about uh, the types of window i told you lift and slide it is the only window into which wool pile is not used the purpose of wool pile the function of wool pile is 100% achieved with the help of gaskets over there that's why the water tightness is 100% then apart from this to slide the roller to slide this entire shutter on to your uh, sliding window uh, on to your sliding profile sliding track you require rollers so rollers again have as we have graduated further good rollers itself have graduated a lot a lot the load bearing capacity rollers have been classified uh, with the help of their load bearing capacity to transmit this shutter to that end without making noise and with smooth single hand operation there are certain system companies which have single finger operating uh, windows bigger panels almost like 3 meters 6 meters and it is single finger operated uh, if i if i get time we'll get definitely post lockdown go and visit the facility to understand how de- do these designers come up with these mega windows then comes uh, flashing so apart from the entire fixity of the window there are sometimes gaps uh, say 1 2 3 4 10 15 mm gaps so just to hide it from within and give a seamless look to your window I, either aluminum or gi flashings are used then comes masking tape before installation masking tapes are used just to preserve it from all the dirts and other particles so apart from these components what we need to understand is you and me as designers always forget that whoever is is installing these 15 20 components together needs to be respected and needs to earn his share of doing the job so apart from these things we need to consider while costing of this we need to consider a, a component for the fabrication means joining of these all components together then we need to consider the octroy the freight and the octroy we need to consider the transportation the, the moment i say transportation it will be depending upon the taxation also from state to state or country to country then comes if at all the windows are to be installed from the external of a building external side of the building so then you need to add on the scaffolding cost the h frame cost and then comes the final installation into installation again there are three headers number 1 is loading number 2 is unloading number 3 is actual installation of the window and last but not the least since we are talking of only system windows we need to consider is the design engineering cost the testing cost and last uh, but not the least uh, project management cost by the virtue of which the project gets completed in time and you get a fluent uh, full proof performing window and over and above these all components what we need to consider is over and profit for the executor for the fabricator for the vendor who is actually executing this entire sliding window at site so i hope you must have taken a note of it that these are the components that go into a sliding window however if at all you find anything that i have missed please do let me know with the comment below i would be happy to adjust it into my next videos 
and uh, since you have reached this end of the video thanks for watching keep coming again